So let's see what happens when we try to clone another drive that has uh, some issues. I've already got the project file, the source and the destination loaded. I'm using direct AHCI mode. Um, I've got HDSC viewer already loaded the file on auto update. So we're just going to do is connect. Um, and hey, I forgot. We can you check smart status of this. Uh, we can see that the reallocated sector count is a hex number of 75, which is pretty significant. Um, it says there's no current pending sectors, which is good, I guess, but not really in this case. Um, see, there's reallocation events also. So the drive definitely has some bad sectors. So let's try and start with an analyze and see what happens. And we're off to a slow start. Now, what we want to watch here is there's no non-trimmed or bads coming up. That number's not increasing. That's a very high read time. Up to 5,000. Now, our uh, soft reset timeout is set at 8,000 milliseconds, so we haven't triggered that yet. So all those long reads are actually still good. All right, so here's our initial results. Uh, not a lot of variants. Lows all pretty good, so there was always a low read everywhere, but we've got a lot of highs. It didn't actually perform a lot of reads. There's a lot of uh, high numbers all the way through the drive, uh, except maybe the end might be a little better. You can see the average is fairly high also in uh, those zones, so I'm not even going to bother with a uh, with an advance you know with an extended analyze we already know that it's got an issue so let's just go ahead and try to start cloning and see what happens and I'm really surprised that I don't see any oh there's no bad spots so you don't see anything over here so you don't see any sort of pattern because there were no non trim now what I could have done is I could have turned the timer down and made so the to something low like 500 milliseconds and then it would have triggered soft resets and you would have saw it over here, but there's nothing nothing to see there. So let's just click on start and watch and see what happens at the beginning of the drive here. Now again, I'm seeing these high read times. There's no real bad data yet. No bad reads, just really slow. But yet, we see a recent rate, a total rate. Sometimes it looks like it reads fast, which tells me that it reads good in several heads, and then there's a bad head somewhere where it's reading really slow. <clears throat> well, if it's going to read that slow, and that's going to be our rate, we're, it's going to take forever. You see, it already says it's going to take a day, uh, and that's probably um, <clears throat> very... Uh, very low actually you can see it's going up right now the time so that's probably very conservative it's prob probably takes several days or weeks even uh, if you were to try and recover all the data and there was actually one bad read triggered a soft reset you can see over here so I'm gonna stop it <clears throat> we wanna get past that bad head as fast as we can so I'm gonna go into the settings I'm gonna go in the timer settings now the lowest I can set this here is that it'll let me go down to is 500 if I try and go lower it'll only go to 500 so I'm going to enable the phase timers which bypasses this so phase 1 and 2 is now going to be 250 milliseconds what this is going to do um, is it's going to allow us to do a phase 1 and 2 and get data all the data from the good heads and skip over the bad head as fast as possible we can always come back to that later um, and click OK to that and reality is if I wanted to come back and dig at the bad head uh, I would turn off I would go into the clone settings and I'd only enable phase 1 and 2 I'd disable all of those so that way it uh, only does phase 1 and 2 and then I can make, it a, make a, a determination on what to do after that so let's see what happens now that I do that we'll click start and we'll let it run for a little bit you can see lots of soft resets 
Um, we're going a lot faster now. So it hits that bad head and it just jumps right out of it. So we'll let that run for a little bit to see the pattern it makes. All right, it's been running for a couple minutes. Uh, kind of, we can see a pattern here. If we adjust our width, let's see if we can get a pattern to line up. And look at that. <clears throat> Good reads and bad read. Um, if you kind of eyeball it, I believe this is a six head drive so you'd have uh, one bad one bad head and then five good ones uh, in between so we see that <clears throat> we're getting the data um, from the good heads as best we can this says and it's still changing it says we're gonna it's gonna be about five hours five and a half hours for it to recover that and then it'll, because I changed the settings, it's going to stop. Uh, and then you can make a determination on how to proceed with the bad head. Um, I can tell you right now, in this case, I actually did recover this drive as best possible because it was one of my own that went bad on me. And it is the reason I created Phase 3. And Phase 3 kind of uh, tries to skip out of, well, it does a, it's based on speed. Um, because believe it or not, there are areas inside that bad head that actually read good, and then it'll hit a bad spot, and then it'll read good, then it'll hit a bad spot. So that actually works a little bit inside for mining as much data as possible. It still wasn't the greatest recovery, uh, but I did recover a lot, and actually the master file table is fine on this drive. It actually must have all resided in a uh, good head. Well, anyway, there you can see... <clears throat> We're doing the best we can to clone a uh, drive with a weak head that reads really slow. If you were to use the default settings, this thing would take forever just to get the good data, just to get the data out of the good heads because all the reads were taking so long.